Hey, it's on the part 27. On the last episode, basically, Xenia has been running around and kicking everyone's butt. Basically. I've been expecting you. Excuse me. And that's how it all went down. <laughs> the Xenia, she mentioned the Sky Pillar. Few can enter it, only the successors of the ancient world who know of what has been. The Lord Keepers are asked with passing on that knowledge to those who come after. Do you remember Wallace, whom you meant, Sutopolis? No! <laughs> oh, I thought you forgot. It wasn't that bad. Oh. Okay. Ah, right, Cape Forge. That place that was on magma. On magma? Well, it wasn't on fire, it was on magma. <laughs> yes, there is a difference. <laughs> Sorry, I love it. I was like, do you remember Wallace from Sutopolis? No. How can you not remember him? It's not hard. I mean, we fought once. Um, he let you into the Cave of Origins. Meh. You're a terrible person, you know that? I know. This <laughs> is like, you suck. Are you aware of that? I just want you to know that. You suck. Well then. Yeah, my god. Alright. You... Go away, little pineapple. That's not a pineapple, that's probably a magic card. Go away, pineapple mon. You don't own me. I fight through his entire gym again. <laughs> is he here? No. Ooh, where is he? Cave of Origins. You could have literally just walked up to it. You didn't have to defeat us all again. Well, I wanted to make you all feel bad, so I did. That's terrible. I know. Dude, it's like 3 in the morning. Why are you here? God, I gotta deal with that girly man again. What a glorious turn of events. Uh. Really? Huge man from the. Ca yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay. No, take me with. Take me with. Come on. Come on. Jerk. This is a nice tree. Yeah. He was like, if you're ready, come with- No, 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 I'm ready right now. You're ready right now. I'm ready right now. Right now. Right now. You're sure? Yes, I am completely sure. Right now? Yes, right now. Alright. You say so. Good boss and pants. Did you just call me Mr. Boss and Pants? Yes, I did. You're weird. You ever said that? I like you. I try bet it's that island right there. That one. <laughs> <Just> like. <laughs> Seriously, it's like take me with. Just take me with now. Okay. Take me with. I won the small islands on Route 131, right? Yeah. All right, so cool. I just need to go like north, right? Well, presumably. Sweet! <laughs> that was easy! That is quite a pose you got there. Huh. What? Yes! What? You, you mean you... Well, I guess when he has a gym, he has to have... Girly man. Don't call me a girly man, girly man. <laughs> I guess it makes sense though, like when you're a gym leader, you have to have like a specific team. This is bad. What do you mean? He has all six. Yeah, so. I'm actually not gonna Mega Evolve, I'm just gonna. Because I'm gonna send Agron in in case this doesn't work. 
Like, this could be bad. You're not much heavier than me. You're, like, lighter than air. Like, seriously, I think... I remember hearing that somewhere that it was, like, Wailord is lighter than air. <laughs> Nah. Ludicolo. Ludicolo. And Blizzard would do so, so. Stone Edge, I do well. And yup. Boom. Ah, dear. Stay in love. Stay in love. I can't resist that, just like, ah, 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 stay alive, stay alive. Um, okay, never mind, okay. Never mind, I, I saw this video, I something on the computer, I'm like, it could be bad. Yeah, you're great. Melodic. Melodic's like, what's this? Ah, Sting and Swampert again. Boom. Well then. Alright, I'm just gonna send in Shift Tree. Cause. Just feel like messing with you all. So, Leaf Blade. Suck it, by the way. Yeah, I was being nice and using the same type before. Now I'm just here to kill you. Sorry. Man. Of course, it'd be a poison type next. Sure, you're. Chuck, chuck, chuck. You're, yep, you're especially defensive, not physically, so. Take that, run with it. Yeah, it does. Man. That ruins my plan. Nice, uh, nice of you to actually, you know, like, use a Gyarados, though. Like, I respect you for that. Oh, dear. Also, excellent type, like, uh, move typeage, or move usage. Cha, cha, cha. However you want to you know, say that. Ship tree still kicking butt, taking names. And we got Zobish Cash. Yeah, chuk, chuk, chuk. Die, Wario. Yeah. <laughs> it's like act after the battle. Actually, it's not part of my heritage to battle you. I just wanted to see if I could beat you. Seems I was mistaken. Yeah, that makes sense though in the gym that you would he would use like less Pokemon, they'd be weaker. He has like a set. <laughs> yeah, a time striking with beauty. It's like, um Earthquake, dude, earthquake, dude, earthquake, dude. Watch you commit the battle with such ease and grace. Even I might succumb to your charm. What? I'm sorry, I was too disturbed by the first comment. It's fine, calm down. Right, okay. And also, I think it's funny that they openly admit, like, uh, I guess we gotta leave the fate of the world into your hands. No big deal, though. There's no big deal. I guess we'll just, you know, hope to goodness that you actually don't suck, because if you do, we're dead. Or, you know, whatever happens to the world that Xenia or whatever is trying to do is gonna happen. Do you know what that is? I actually don't. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so all my Pokemon. Ninja has to just reap it in the dough. It's like, oh yeah, make that money. What's in this rock? I bet there are Pokemon here. They're just not telling me. Well, that was easy. That was all the trials? Yeah, that was it. Yep, I knew it. That organ. Focus. What? Bring it, Xenia. Oh, you are so evil. Whoa.
I've been passed down by... Okay, story time. Huh. Thousands of years ago, in the primal age long lost, the world is overflowing with natural energy. Primal Groudon and Primal Kelgar fought over that energy in endless furious clashes. In the face of Primal Groudon and Kelgar's power, the people could do nothing. The only choice was to watch its disaster upon disaster swept over them. It was in such a time that a great many meteorites poured from the darkness of space from a place higher even than the heavens. What's that supposed to mean? And the meteorites fell on their multitude upon a waterfall that had long been home to a trip tribe of dragon type Pokemon users. Sounds like that was on purpose. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the first chapter of my tale. I'll hear the next part of the story on the next floor. Look forward to it. What? Give me a minute, I'm exploring. Back off. Exploring. I don't want a Mawile. I like how the painting is actually like around us though. That's pretty cool. But I don't want a Mawile. Looking at the Pokemon in the silhouettes once they pop up. There. Uh, nope, nope. There we go. Alright. I already have all four of those, and if memory serves me correctly, there are always really irritating puzzles in this place. I'm gonna pals. Maybe it helps out with the right folder. And... I don't actually got that many. I should buy some more, just saying. Does not let me use a bike. Good jerks. Yeah, no way am I following the same. No way am I following the same path she did. I can pretty much bet that it's a trap. Plus, this game always rewards exploration anyway. So, go away. Right. Up, 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 up. Next, I think I'm gonna go evolve my who's it's now. Your Cedra. Yes, I'm gonna go evolve some Cedra. One Cedra. <laughs> you know how hard it is to find dragon scales. I'm just saying, it is a pain to get dragon scales. All right, where are you? There you are. Oh, here you are. Let me continue. It's finally time for chapter two. Here we go. That's an HM. Anyone see that on the corner? There. <laughs> at last. Uh, at last, right? Ha, I know you're thrilled. I'm suspicious. The meteor is shown with the rainbow brilliance as if some great life was held within. That was when, as if drawn by the brilliance Pokemon that shone in a blazing emerald hue, descended from the heavens. That Pokemon was none other than Rayquaza. Rayquaza's powerful world now, but with two prominent Pokemon, peace returned to the world. The people of Hoenn revered Rayquaza as a true savior. A thousand years at this time, the meteorites once again fell. A huge meteorite, far deeper than any, far greater than any before, struck the planet, boring deep into the ocean, and leaving behind it a crater larger than any other. The land born of this event later became known as Sutopolis. But it didn't destroy anything. Get stinking. Yeah. Okay, so there's nothing else here. You're sure? Yep. We're getting that HM though. It's like I leave without the HM. No! Ah, there you are. No alternative pass? Okay. The great meteor is the first of many disasters to be flooded, man. We did punch the planet, land cracked beneath, and a great well of natural energy poured from beneath Hoenn. That was referred to as lava. Those of our energy, Pama Kyogre and Pongo once again awoke. The people had a wish, a memory from a thousand years before. They wished that the legendary Pokemon clad in Emerald Light would appear again. That looks like a giant smiley face with two, like, with really wispy mustache that turns into claws. You know that lay at the heart of Stubbs gave off boundless brilliance. In its brilliance, it resembled a vast and powerful keystone. Once again, Rikers descended from whence it came in the heavens. But in use before Grace, they made a wish for salvation. As they did, a great change came over with legendary Pokemon. It was enveloped in blinding light. As the light recedes, they beheld Rayquaza beyond all knowledge. A sublime figure, incandescent with overwhelming life force. So they are worshipping this Pokemon. Ah. Oh. Get back here, dang it. This thing can take you down. Yeah, this place is falling apart. Triangles everywhere. 
Why are there so many triangles? After being transformed by the witch, the people didn't really save them from disaster. No, it destroyed and ate them. Uh, Great Kaiza once again confronted Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. The golden filaments that sprang from its body covered the sky. An emerald brilliance illuminated the area. A terrible wind rose. The wind and emerald light visibly sapped the power from Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. Many of them Primal Powers to vanish to the depths of land and sea. I guess to watch them go, regain its usual appearance. Then soared back up to the heavens where it dwelled. A witness to this series of events, a tall visitor from a distance said, It is the Delta. It is the Triangle, everyone! Born of the great disturbances in this world. Alpha. Alpha Omega Delta. By the bonds born of mankind's wish and the power of the stones to look home the troubles that plague this world. That was when the Dracos constructed their great tower to hold the rainbow stone that he granted with Chris's power and to try to get a little bit closer to Chris on the heavens above. To record the history of their trials and the great feats of mine, Chris, for all to know, they left behind the murals you see here. Which are now mostly destroyed for some unknown reason. A giant tower and paints of the past. You know, I feel like I've seen something like this recently. Hey, but now it's so time for the last chapter in our tale. Look, get back here. Get stinking back here. I'll beat you once, I'll beat you again. I don't care how many stinking dragons you get. Frankly, my dear, bring them on. At last, we reach the final chapter. This is so suspicious. A thousand years of peace followed after that disastrous time, but the Drakenid people, learning from their long history's cyclical, cyclical nature, foretold that the meteorites would fall on this land again. Someday, we don't know when. The meteorite to come, they prophesied, would be far greater than those that had come before it. This meteorite would be great enough to break the world forever. In order to prevent this great calamity, those who held the knowledge of the past arrived at a plan. The plan was to invoke Ray Quasa, this great savior, and summon to the land before the meteorite could strike. And that's it! That's the end of our- That's the end of our- of the Draconic's tale. I spent a long time thinking about how I could protect the happiness of as many people as possible. What I must do, as one who holds both the knowledge and the power. One who bears the heavy wishes of those who could not live up to that fate. Well, I'd be really creative, you know? I bet if I go to over here. Give me a second. Where are you going? Somewhere. Yes, 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 yes. What are you doing? Nothing. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I get it. At first I was like, wait, hang on, I don't get it. Why would I get why would I get this move? And I was like, well, everything's destroyed, right? True. There you go. Clever. Alright. This organ sounds awesome, so therefore it is time to battle. If I am going to have to catch this Rayquaza, which I'm betting I'm going to, I'm going to walk delayed in the front paralysis. Yeah. Oh snap. Dot dot dot! Disaster? You always want to watch them, right? The Litleonites, a million glittering stars falling from the sky. The show's about to start. Mer mer! Aren't we happy now? Guess what could be better, dear Aster? Uh, Is Aster fully aware of what you're doing? Welcome to the Dragon Heart Altar, Max. You know what I'm trying to do here by now, don't you? I'm gonna summon a dragon! Yep, that's about it. That's about it. That is my, it is our duty. Nice pose you got there. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always turned my eyes up to the sky. When I was so full of uncertainty that I felt my heart might be crushed by it. When I was so grief-stricken and alone, I thought my heart might break of it. I turned and looked up there, so that my tears would never, ever fall. What about you? Have you ever had to do something like that? Guess. Yeah, I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't believe me. I use such stars like this all the time. Together with Aster. How come you haven't evolved Aster? Because Aster's cute this way! We were always together, in good times and in bad. I loved her. I loved her with everything I had. She had a fang. Anyone else see that? But I still lost her. Wait, what? Is 
Is Aster her sister? And she. Mer mer. And she named her Wismer Asmer. Wait, what? How'd you do that? I'm like, wait, what? Why'd you knock me out? <laughs> like, okay, Wismer. What's your name, Aster? Right, Aster. Why am I letting her do this? So you can catch Rayquaza, obviously. With jewel bright and borrowed might from the spirits of the departed, through sacred rite and in thy great sight, my life as well as I offer. The keystone city holds her, giving off a blinding light. She is sacrificing herself to a Pokemon, saying that it is a god. Holy crap, things are going down! I summon thee to aid this fight and save us from disaster. Really realize that I'm upon this world, for this do I summon thee. Um Rayquaza What do you want? <laughs> I have the Rayquaza. Huh. Scary. Okay. Oh crap! Oh crap! I actually did it! Kasha! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay, um... I did it! I did it! I did it! Now the world will be saved! Aster! Aster! I did it! Home! <laughs> Great Rayquaza, hear my wish! Achieve your mega evolution! Take hold of your true power! Show me your true face, Rayquaza, that will save this planet! Da da da! Da 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 da! Uh... Oh yeah, cause cause I'm so special. I'm waiting for that Rayquaza to eat her. I kind of hate you. <laughs> I just walk over her leg. Oh. Wow. Wow, that's quite a look you got on your face. Whoa! Oh yeah, I got like I got tons of meteorites. <laughs> it's like, dude, dude, get get, get off my back, get it, get, get up, get, get, get. <laughs> get off my back. Okay, so here's a red orb, here's a blue orb, here's a meteorite. I got like tons of these things. It's, just, it's fine. Here, take them. <laughs> It's just like a mega stone? Oh, give me it, or else I will kill you. Wait, hang on. How did he swallow it? <laughs> Wait, where's the swallows max? What the <laughs> Um Guys? Guys? Whoa! So I mean, it allows it to store as much power as a Mega Stone. Your meteorite stone for the power needed for a crazy Mega Evolve. Guys, I need to build power. It wants power for itself. Why do I have to do this? Why did you do it? You're a dragon flit, aren't you? Well, no. Whew. Let's do this. Is the team ready? Alright, what do we know about him? Dragon, flying, normal. I don't I don't know anything about I don't much know much about his mega evolution it's just banned in tournaments, which I never go to. Um Glay will do egg ground will probably be the most resistant. Shift Yep, makes sense. Glade will lead. Glade will lead. Agron tanks. Oh, one thing before we continue. Everyone's healed? Yep. Good. Torkoal! You are not holding that whatchamacallit. I'm not? No. 
Forget that mess. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Alright, um... Err... There's King's Rock. Yes. Because if I lose another person because of that stinking helmet, I will kill you, Torkoal. Nah, I won't kill you. But I will beat the crap out of you, so there's that. Alright, let's do this. Sup? Karasia, Yajamania! Bring it on. Rayquaza appeared. He's been here for a while. Glade says, I am ready. Airlock? That's good, I wasn't using weather anyway. That thing's level 70. I know. Dragon Ball! Oof. We got him enough, though. Gotcha. Now I know I'm gonna die anyway, so... I'm gonna use Psycho Cut. Oh, what?! Don't worry, Glade, you did, what, you did what, like, we want you to. It's alright. Alright, let's get Swampert in there. My extreme speed makes the fact that I paralyzed him worthless. Stone Edge. I know it's his weakness, but do it. You suck. Come on, you can do it. Yeah! Alright, one more time. Oh dang. One more time I do it, just don't score critical. Whatever you do, do not score critical. You suck. Alright, um Blizzard will kill him. Okay. Well now's the perfect time to switch something out if you want. Aegon. Aragorn should be able to tank him fairly well, actually. As long as we don't Mega Evolve him, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, there you are. Ooh, avoided somehow. Cool. Alright. Shadow Claw's house! Perfect. One more time, ought to do it. Come on. Oh, it's not actually as good as I was hoping. Go! <laughs> Give me a second. I'll be right back. Alright, let's try this again. Sorry, that was just like the ultimate moment of me just going... Why? Because, you know, when you're catching Pokemon, you can't... It's like impossible to actually account for those times when um when you get a critical. You get a critical and you're just like there's nothing I could have done. There's literally nothing I could have done. Yeah, Eggron's a Eggron's the best bet against that. Alright, there you go. I bet one stone edge will be fine, actually. Well, better not. Shadow Claw! Right. Oh dear. Another! Oi! Suck it. Another! Oi! Alright, that should be good. Out here. Alright. Do you work at night time or just. It is night time right now. Go! Come on. Come on. Come on. <gasps> oh my goodness, yes! I would say first try, but the first time he died. But the first try with the Pokeball! Yes! Awesome! That should be! <laughs> really? Eh, debatable. 
I think it's big. Lucrezia is said to have lived for hundreds of millions of years. Legends remain of how it put to rest a clash between Kyogre and Groudon. By the way, there's only one of them, and some mortal just caught it. And sent him to the PC box. <laughs> Wishes to join your party. I'm not sending in Jazz back. Why? Cause reasons. Um. It's like, who do I like the least? <laughs> Whose role does he fit? Eh. Sorry, Togo. Yeah. Ha! I just caught a legendary. And thank you. History has chosen you. The truth remains that Rayquaza chose you and not me. But while I don't know how to put it into words exactly, I think I understand why. You'll be a successor to our long history now. And I pass to you the final key to Rayquaza's true power. The move that only it can learn, Dragon Ascent. So what move does it replace? Because I kind of want to keep Dragon Dance. <laughs> ah. Cool. You have a tamer against power for your own. Now I'll have you prove to me that you can master that power in battle. Okay. Phew. My pulse, I can feel it racing. Yes, I'm feeling totally pumped. Yeah. This is it. You're doing that beast mode thing again. Yep, you're doing that beast mode. Am I sending out Rayquaza? Send out Rayquaza. Alright, Rayquaza. See what I can get away with. Can you make Evolve, by the way? First off, let's look at what this move is. After soaring upward, the user attacks the target by dropping out of the sky at high speeds. Although it lowers its own special... It's close combat. It's close combat. If I can survive the hit, I want to use Dragon Dance, because if I use Dragon Dance, then I'll be unstoppable. However, I'm thinking I'm already unstoppable, so you know what? Let's see how this goes. Alright, buddy. Let's see what you look like, Mega Evolve. Snap. I look like a beast! <laughs> oh! Awesome! Alright, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? You're also a dragon type. I'm sorry, Dragon Pulse. My phone's going off. Nyeh. Forget it. I'm too busy being awesome. Look at that! This isn't even fair! This is why I can't stand using legendaries, but I think it's like story mode required that I do it. Are you sure? Eh, I guess I could switch out, but... I much prefer just killing you. <laughs> killing you like this, because... You know, she was like, oh, you are you have your power, where did you use your Rayquaza? And I'm like, well, let's find out. You got some nice Pokemon. Bam. However, you really need a way around this. Like, sends in one fairy. Please, Mega Evolve yourself. I haven't used any attack other than Dragon Pulse this time, so... Oh snap, it turned into a jet engine. However, I'm still OP. Really, like, how are you not expecting me to do this? I'm like, 10 levels ahead of you. I'm Mega Evolved. I'm a Legendary. And I think my base attack and special attack's like 180. And you have Fangs. <laughs> Just as I expected of you, Max. I literally only used him. I only used one move. It's Daylight, somehow. I guess it falls to you now. That sells it then. Max, you should even be able you should even be able to beat that meteorite that's approaching the planet. You and Rayquaza together. Huh? I'm leaving this task to you, our new successor. Successor Max, you and your Rayquaza must protect nature, Pokemon the people. Sweet. 
Okay. Oh, we're actually doing this now? Eh. See ya, suckers! <laughs> We're actually gonna do this. Yep, we're doing this now. I'm not gonna make another episode of it. Get that mess. We got an awesome rock solo going. It's me and a stick of Rayquaza. And he's like, okay. See you later then. Fuck solo. This is like as epic as it gets, really. Dude, I'm in space. This suit was not built for space travel. <laughs> Eh, it allowed me to ride on a mega Groudon. Dang. Why are its tassels connected to its tail? I don't know. I'm in space. <laughs> Those portals going to ride. Space, space, space! Ah, my voice is going weird. <clears throat> oh, don't tell me we're just gonna ram through it. I was kidding. Oh! Hey, they said that thing was six miles in diameter. Six meters, more like. Okay, now quick. I want you to like start flying through and destroy those pieces. Just go, and then we'll worry about that triangle. What? What is that, like the Infinity Prison? That, you know, con what's his face from Superman was- It has tentacles! What? Hoi! Hoi! Let's do this. I'm ready. Deoxys appeared. Alright. So I want to catch that thing. Yeah, you do. The temptation to use the Master Ball is pretty high. And it knows recover. I'm in too much shock to use anything except Ultra Balls right now. Dang it. Okay. Oh, I know. I know what to do. What? I know what to do. Excuse me. Like, what are you doing? Clang it in there! <laughs> He's like, I'm so dead. What do you think you're doing, Max? No, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. See? You're so screwed. I just realized that if you got, like, a ghost dark type, like Sableye up in here, you wouldn't be able to be deadly. Alright, now, Glade, 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 you gotta listen to me here. Don't die. Dang it. This might have been a bad plan. However, he is literally like as low as you can possibly get. Ninja ask! Master, why have you betrayed me? Ninja ask! Master, why? Ninja ask, buddy, pal, don't die. <laughs> you seriously are doing this, aren't you? Yeah, I am. That thing is literally as low as you can get. Come on, come on. Money! Yes! Victory! Suck it. Way to go, Ninja. <laughs> and Ninja is like, I was so close to death. I know. What the? <laughs> it's like, it's okay, little guy. You, 
you know, I'm like riding on top of a pretty much dead mega whatchamacallit. And the jazz is just like, what the? Wait, what? The DM is space virus underwent a sun mutation upon exposure to a laser beam resulting in dioxys. The crystalline organ on this beam appears to be its brain. How much you want to bet the laser was from 3,000 years ago when that super weapon went off and the laser goes into space and comes back down? How much you want to bet? I'm willing to put that bet on the table. Five nickels. Maybe three. Maybe six. <laughs> like maybe th six. <laughs> Boom! Shocker heart. Wow. I cannot believe that. It was like that one dragon pulse dropped its like one hit point. I was like. Wow! Thank you, God! Thank you, God! <laughs> hey, where'd she go? I'm not actually looking at her. <laughs> Get back here, Aster. <sighs> I was finally able to bring everything to an end. I thank you for that. I think I'll spend some time now trying to find out if it's also possible to forge a new beginning for something once lost. Until we meet again, Zinnia. Don't do necromancy or reanimation. You're not gonna bring your sister back like that. Where'd the meteorite go? I have no idea. P -p 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 Professor, the meteorite, the meteorite. It's thank the powers above. It's it's calm yourself, man. Uh, no celebrations in order. Oh, who am I? I'm so happy I can kiss you. We did it. We actually did it. Success is ours. Guys did do diddly. Ah, thank you, Max. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be leaving then. Goodbye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Hey, wait just a minute, Wally. Of course, my Pokemon are fit for anything. See, I got my keystone back for me. Miss Dora gave me a ticket to a resort that sounds really neat. I can't wait to go and check it out. I never do know when to think that Wally was too well. Yes, but he looks so honestly happy that I can't help feeling happy too. You're just gonna let your kid run off? That's cool. He's staring at the wall. Oh, Courtney! I noticed you're back! <laughs> I'm sorry, like, Tabitha's just like... You think you plan on doing anything? Wah! This conversation has been seen as expected! Ugh. If it has come to this, then I, Tabitha, shall handle this myself. Courtney! The crap you do! Apologize! Hurry up, okay? Just say sorry. I'm sorry, Lee Max. I'm sorry. I won't do it anymore. I'll never do anything like that or again. I'll never try to destroy the entire planet again just as fight because you got beaten up by some kid who then beat me up. Meh. Sniffle. What are you... Fine. I understand. Courtney, I, the great Maxie, will forgive you. But only on one condition. Marriage. You must also forgive me. Oh, it's beautiful. Courtney, I never imagined, I never could have imagined how very loyal you were to me. Nor did I imagine even one iota of the shock you must have experienced due to my recent speech and conduct, or how it could have pained you. The one who drove you to such an extreme act was me. I'm truly sorry for that. You see, Courtney, I would like to start a new path. There are truths that I have learned because of the mistakes I have made. They pit me against others who are not like me and against the ideas that differ from mine. They tell me the importance of understanding these others, even though we may continue to cause pain to one another. And that holds true whether the opponent I face is a human, Pokemon, or even the might of nature itself. I'll take this step forward, free from hesitation, and meet my foe. And together we will find a way to create, not destroy, or so I hope. That's the vision that I, Maxi, have for Team Magma's future. Will you come with me on this journey as well, Courtney? <laughs> of course I will! I'm sorry, that's weird just beautiful! Wow! My, you certainly do cry a lot. Yes, yes. Oh, wow, that is the evilest of... That is the evilest of looks. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, well, I guess I'll be champion. I saw you for your help, Skyro. Thank you for that. Ha <laughs> ha, how I'd like you to be so thoughtful. <sighs> you know, this experience really brought a home for me again. That there's still so much about this world I do not know. What would, happen what would have happened to Hoenn? The Max had not been here to aid us with this in the incident with the super ancient Pokemon. I alone was powerless to stop either. I highly doubt that. I bet you would have rocked house. There's no, there's no one person in this world who knows all. None who can do all. See, when there's no cause for such worries or concern. 
Don't worry, it's not that I'm so shocked by my own disappointing performance, but rather... I was just thinking about how much there is I must learn about nature, about Pokemon, and about my fellow humans as well. If I'm to keep living in this huge wide world, I want to walk this world on my own two feet, to see it with my own eyes, to feel it on my very skin. I need to practice all the advice I ever gave to Max. That's why I'm thinking now. You can't intend to, but no need to fear. I won't just disappear at once. I'll still be around doing my duty on behalf of the Pokemon League. But, when the time does come for me to pursue my own hopes. Well, I hope that you, Wallace, will be, will be behind me to lend a hand. Hmm, seems I have little choice. I bow to the whims of the pampered air. I, Wallace, will do this thing you wish. Thank you, my friend. It was beautiful! <laughs> Mom! Asked her. It's over. It's all over. There you are, you whippersnapper! Granny, you've worked very hard. It is enough, child. Be done with your burden. Let it go now. For everything, there must be an ending. Only then, only then can there be a new beginning. This is immutable truth that all things on this planet, great and small, must accept. We Draconards have seen it in our history, as you have seen it in your own life. Now's the time for rest. Let down the great burden you have borne so long alone, so you might at last take a step forward toward your life. Now's the time for rest. Yes. Uh. Go, go with. Oh, so you just gonna leave behind Wismer? That's terrible. Hi, Dad. I suppose me and Max will probably arrive by now. I imagine so. The weather's good today. This should be a good view of the stars. But you know, I really am glad we moved here from Jota. I think this, I think that me and you, Birch and Mrs. Birch and Lil May, has had a huge impact on Max's life. Oh, it's the same for our May. Don't you agree, dear? Of course. When she does make it home, I'll be asked to talk about Pokemon and her precious friend Max. I think she's over the moon about this adventure and the great friend she's found. Y'all, this is all so adorable. I don't feel like reading anymore. Thanks, old friend. Aww. I don't know what my favorite is. This is so beautiful. It's so many ways. I'm just like space. I was there. <laughs> just saying. Space. No formal training. <laughs> Look, I bought things. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Do you like this thing? Yeah, sure. Am I, like, taking her to random places now? <laughs> nice. Yep. Shipped. Shipped for the beginning. Are they going to send that rocket out? Ow. We watched the show. Apparently just us. Yeah. Yeah. So beautiful. Why are we sitting beside each other? <laughs> the center will be closing shortly. Get out. Are you quite done yet, Max? No, I'm not! <laughs> Here we can fly home on my Latios. Because nobody sees that as a problem. Max. See you tomorrow. Shipped. Now I can't control myself. Welcome home, Max. You only saved the universe like three times. And became Pokemon Gym League champion. Yeah, that was beautiful. And there's like so many motivational, motivational speeches that can be erupted from this. Or you, you know, what I mean. words, words. I'm gonna, I'm good at words. Oh, that was really quick. <laughs> Sorry, for some reason it didn't click. Oh, look. It's stinking, Rayquaza. Did he just bite? Yep, he just bit. I love watching like the attacks go over the screen. I just think that's the funniest thing. All right, so, 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 
now that we caught now that we caught our final Pokemon. Sup? Morning, Max. You must have been bushed. You slept like a log. Uh, yeah. Space is kind of kind of tiring. Grindy. Oh, the captain. Huh. Battle Resort. <sighs> Mab, I saved the world. Sweet. Cool. So, what now, Mom? Any missions I should take care of? What? You got to be kidding me! Kick the bloody put. So we just deals. So, all these Pokemon are good, but did I just accidentally mess with my? Hey, 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 hey. Uh, hang on. Sorry about that. I may be at a different volume right now. I enjoy all three of these. They're all good. They're all good in their own way. But I always loved using Taflosion. So it's like, you chose Cyndaquil. Sweet, Cyndaquil, we're Quasa. Light that Shroomish on fire. I randomly kept it. <laughs> I basically stole it and said, forget your nonsense. I literally just stole it. Now, I want to say there's another star you can get. I could be wrong there. Can I? I remember. Sup? Yeah, totally. Here's the Hoenn. Yeah. I catch what I see. Now. Sup? Aww. You haven't said anything different from the beginning of the game. So, that's it. That is the adventure. I'm breaking into your. Oh, hey. Hey, sup, sup. Now, before I go, there is one last thing we should do. Since I can still use this. Come on. There we go. I'm like, ha, ah, space. Can you take me to space? Shut up, Max. <laughs> I don't run crazy. I can take me to space. Shut up. I also got Deoxys. Yeah, I need to go look at Deoxys things quick. Deoxys can take me to space. Okay, you know what? You know what, you blighter? I don't think this is space. <laughs> One thing I've always wanted to show you guys. What's that? I know a lot happened in this episode, but can't resist now, can I? Just can't. <laughs> Sorry, it's even like Mirage Mountain. I'm just like, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh, no. Man, giant rocks over. I can't get around that. Sweet. And then, stick in my crazy. <laughs> However, all my Pokemon are too strong to actually catch you, so I'm just gonna grab this here. Uh, quick bow, and then use a quick bow. Go, quick bow, a quick bow. Come on, come on, sweet. 
So that's all that's here. Just oddiness. Which don't get me wrong, it's cool, but not really what I had in mind. <laughs> Look, it's a little furry thing. Oh, but an egg might hatch. I got an egg at home that I need to get rid of. Can you help me with there? No? Cool. Why is it like... Oh, wait, hold on. It didn't show Audino until I caught it. Okay, now I forget it. <laughs> this, this, nope, nope, nope. We out. We out. I mean, Audinos are rare, but once... I mean, once you catch one, it's kind of like... New point. I'm fine. But I can't reach that, because... Rocks. Well, that's all I really wanted to do to check out here, so yeah, whatever. Take me out! The last thing I want to do is show you something that should be on Steven's desk. Should be. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but it should be there. <laughs> it's like, Q -q 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 -q. Why the fire? I might have to put away a Pokemon first, though. So, I mean, what's there to do now? You must be wondering. Simple. I have. Did you just actually break the fourth wall and tell me that it's a game? Yes, I did. Mortal fool. No, oh, he's bashful. Cosmic power. What's that move do? Well, anyway, alright, so we gotta put you away. Uh, I'm gonna put just you away, just a placeholder, because I don't like what Cosmic Power does. And there's something that, if I remember correctly, is on the desk of Steven's house. If it's not there yet, I think there's just something you have to do to get it. I don't remember exactly. Go away, little kid. Who are you to tell me? Ah, oh, there it is! Yes! Steal the Beldum! <laughs> It contains a Pokemon Beldum. Nope, I'm stealing it. Oh, a note. Oh. Oh. Aww. Thanks, Stevie. Thanks, Stevie Wonder. And it's holding an iron plate, which is pretty cool. I love Beldum. Beldum is so sweet. Like, okay, my favorite Pokemon is... Yeah, I would definitely say it's Porygon Z. Without a doubt, it's Porygon Z. And the Porygon family, I love those Pokemon. But Beldum, Metagross, Metagross ranks fairly stinking high. So what was I saying earlier? I was saying words. Right, words. What to do with our lives now? Um, I appear to be missing a crew member. There he is. <laughs> I was like, where's my crew member? Question now? What? to do with ourselves. Well, there's a bunch of legendaries we need to catch, so you start cracking on that. And there is the Battle Resort, and if I remember correctly, if we face off against the gym leaders, I think they're different again. I don't know if we have to do it in order, so hey, maybe we'll start with them. Maybe I'll take an entire episode just to run through every single gym and take down their gym leaders, just to show you guys what strategies you need to take. But overall, we're nearing the end. Nearing the end of this game been awesome though, I loved it. So next episode, let's see if we can figure out what to do with ourselves. See you then!